Yep. We finally got some rain, thank goodness. But we've had a pretty dry last two or three weeks here in the yard and lawn was starting to dry up and I said I was starting to run out of work here with the grass getting crunchy but yeah so uh, actually today Thursday uh, June the 3rd which happens to be uh, Jefferson Davis's birthday um, if you don't know who Jefferson Davis is uh, you'll have to google it but anyway um, I'll do a follow-up video on the uh, 40, uh, 4900 uh, International little dump truck. I've uh, done some improvements on it. Um, got some things coming, some fenders. Uh, Going to get the hood repaired. Did some cleaning on it and uh, shined it up a little bit better. Uh, paint faded a little bit. Well, not really faded, but it was just grimy where it had been sitting. So, But um, got some new front tires on the front. Um, and... Uh, had fun uh, truing them up. Has uh, any of you ever dealt with uh, the Dayton's Dayton front tire? Now, it does not have the split rims on it, so that's they have been updated. But um, yeah, you have to tighten, loosen, tighten, tighten, you know, and back and forth, and spin the spin the wheel until you get it trued up. It's it's been fun. So um, recommend everybody want to do that. All right, they, uh, I have to apologize. Um, I haven't done much of a, I've been busy, so like I say, the little dump truck here has picked up business quite a bit. So I've uh, been hauling like stone and crush and run, ABC, um, which is crush and run, but um, a lot of field dirt and uh, topsoil, so it's been keeping busy, but um, uh, I've written this video is entitled uh, or titled um, fat, fat, uh, one point fast stitch improvement on the 79140 with the roll bar. Um, previous one that was on here, the I'm trying to think what they call this. Um, I'll put it in the video if I think about it across the bottom here. Um, but anyway, it had uh, it had some wear, typical uh, 140 wear uh, right in here, and these threads were wore, and in here it was wore. So I found another one, and um, that wasn't cracked. That's the big thing is they tend to crack right along in here. Um, weak point. Um, you know the fast stitch was great, but it had its. Uh, it's had its downfalls. There was too many moving points, um, too many pivot pivot points. I mean, you got to look. Um, if I can look at the camera straight here, um, you know, you got joints here, here, uh, here, and here, here. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just it's it was great for the time, but you know, you know, they they'd have kept it a little while longer, which you know, the fastest was. Um, exceeding its or well, the weight was the, the implements were exceeding the fast hitch system a lot of people think why didn't couldn't they have put fast hitch on you know the 1066s and up well if you look at implements today they're you know 20 foot wide and you know 15 foot wide the the, the two point or one and one point system was was had its limits so um and this is another point um here I've got another one here but you can see how years of back and forth back and forth uh, eight inches at a time moving back and forth has wore that pin and even now they had they had, they were made like this where they would swivel a little bit for I guess wear but um, had a pin made a friend of mine Mr. Doug Price in uh, Raleigh um, machined this and he took an original that was um, OEM original that uh, had never been used and copied it to a T and made these and he can make some more. Um, I'm going to try to get a deal worked out with him where he can make because this is a typical piece right here and I wish they could make this trunnion here. Um, that would be the ultimate. And he was thinking that we could take a used one, cut this piece here off, this 
this pin off, thread it in here, thread it into there and make a replaceable pin. Um, and that was the thing, you know, later on, you know, they could have put maybe a bearing in here that would have fit, um, like this, this here fits in there like that. You know, it would have been nice if they could have had a bearing in there that would have took the wear, um, things like that, but um, these here typically wear uh, up and down, having down pressure on them constantly and then having being bumped and they wear the threads out. Like I say, it was it was a great idea, but long period of time, you know, where it, things wore out, especially when you've got metal on metal. So, um, we got new lights in the shop here. That was the other thing, so everything's a lot brighter. Thank goodness. But, um, like I said, I've been putting this on. Um, then if you don't think it was fun to get these lights sandwiched in between this fender, get this out far enough where it needed to be, tighten these down, that was fun. So, But you can see, no, no play. So this, this here is a pretty good one. I'm excited to get this on here and not have any slop in here. Of course, you still have some of the slop in there, but um, this tractor, I don't know if you remember well, several videos back, this tractor did not have a fast hitch on it. And I have to apologize on the camera. I think it's acting up again. Not focusing like it's supposed to, but um, this tractor did not have a fast hitch. Most all of the 79 140s that I've seen did not come with fast hitch. I think they were trying to phase that out by that point. Um, they came with the regular um, lift on the back, so um, for like cultivating. Um, so, and I think you had to order a special order or at the dealer order a fast hitch for one. So, um, like I've never seen one, I've never yet seen one from the factory with fast hitch. They've always been. Like I say, with a regular lift on the back. Um, so, like I say, when I think of what it's called, I can't think of it right now. But, but I put fast hitch on this uh, tractor, and this come off of another 140. Um, so I was updating that piece there because it had some slop in it. Um, like I say, that pin up there was not right. So, anyway, um, I'll turn you back on here in a second when I get things a little further along. In the video um, like I said I'm still in between stinking video editing software um, I haven't found anything like I want it's been aggravating I'm frustrated with that new computer is not having uh, is great but it's just some of this new software is just uh, to me overly complicated and I don't want anything I just want a plain and simple editing software I'm not you know like I say I don't do this for money um, I get no money from YouTube or whatsoever so, um, I do this for fun, and I don't do this to sell some product or somebody sends me some, um, sends me something to mail and say, you know, oh, you know, give, give me this, and, uh, you know, I just, uh, when I show you something, um, it's what I like to use, and I don't use it because somebody's paying me to use it. So, anyway, all right, well, we'll turn you back on. Okay. That went on a little better than I thought. Um, I had to go find it, but it's still got a little bit of a wobble in that, but not bad, so. But anyway, I might put a, uh, see if I can get some shim. Uh, I had to go try to supply or something, but, um, probably get some of those thin shims to go in there to kind of take up that. It's not enough for a washer, but if I think if I could shim that up a little bit, that'll take some of the slop out of it. So, anyway, that's that. Um, I want to say not much to it, um, really. Um, what I cleaned that one up before I put it on there because if I'm going to go to the trouble, and it wasn't any trouble with the roll bar because that, that doesn't affect this down there on the bottom, but it still was fun trying to get these lights that are sandwiched in there. And um, it's a funny thing, it was just as yellow as it could be underneath those lights where, um, where they painted the tractor. Um, so they painted them with the light brackets and all that on there. Um, so it was kind of neat. Um, just as yellow as it could be. Um, just as yellow as that sticker down there. Yellow primer that they use. And everybody thinks, oh, I, they must have had a gold demonstrator or something. Uh, 
it's just it's just a yellow primer that they use at that time so all right um thanks for watching um i've got a uh another little project um from devin's tractor parts that i'll be getting here pretty soon um if i can get my camera to focus here i don't know what it's the issue if it's the lights in here or what it um i've got a two point fast hitch coming for the super c so eventually um that um There we go. Um, I'll be getting a two-point fast hitch assembled on that, and what I'm gonna do is piece, since that tractor's been restored, uh, piece by piece I'll go through and um, clean it up and add it on there. Um, I've got to get a hydraulic pump and the lines that go on there, and I've got the, the touch control up there on the console that's supposed to come with it, cylinder, uh, I'll have to get two hydraulic hoses for it. So um, kind of excited about that because I'm going to probably be eventually looking for a two-point platform here like the one-point platform that I've got. But uh, I'll see if I can find a, if any of y'all out there has got a two-point uh, carry-all or carrier, I guess they, they would call it. I don't know. This is the number one carrier here that they made for the one-point stuff. And I, I'm not sure what the number one number for that one was. But... Um, yeah, that's, that's the tractor. It's kind of sentimental, so I'm going to keep that Super C. Um, eventually, we'll probably go back through it and, and do some things. We did that kind of early on before we um, knew how to do a lot of things. But but I'm, like I said, I want to put the two-point hitch on that and uh, kind of just keep it as a normal show tractor, maybe take it to a plow day here and there. Um, so anyway, getting ready for the... Uh, back to Farm Life Museum in Kenley this weekend so if you're out and about uh, down toward Kenley North Carolina uh, come and see us so all right thanks for watching and uh, like I say I'll try to get some more regular uploads I'm gonna do a lot of videoing down there at the tobacco museum so with the GoPro um, but anyway thanks for watching